Bonjour tout le monde, hello everyone, hope you all are well. In this video I will show you how to use the Magic Dronies. Unlike auto shots or the normal Dronies, Magic Dronies requires you to set a point of interest on the ground in order for the drone to understand where to face the camera during the maneuvers. Before we get into the tutorial, here are some safety tips. Number one, when using Magic Dronies, you can always terminate the flight just by using any control inputs on your controller or your device. Number two, Ensure that you have up to 100 meter radius around you and above you. This is because some of the features go right up to 60 meters. Last but not least, number three. Ensure to switch off point of interest before flying the drone normally. If you do not do this, the drone will fly erratically and only point in the direction of the POI. This was due to some people complaining that the drone was having a mind of its own when using the Magic Drones. But, in reality, this was because POI was still activated and the drone would only fly relative to the point of interest. Let's begin with the tutorial. With our Fly and Film screen open, tap on the little round map. This will open the map view and you can proceed to creating a point of interest for your Magic Dronies. You can either open the mini map when you're flying or you can open it before you take off. I usually like to do it before I take off. It is always important to keep the drone within your sight in case you need to stop the drone. Now to the next step, setting a POI. A POI is a reference point on the map. This reference point is what the drone will lock onto when it's doing its maneuvers. To create a point of interest, simply tap and hold down until it creates a POI. You have now created a POI and you will need to set the POI height. To adjust the POI height, simply use the slider on the right hand side. This will ensure that the camera is locked onto the target correctly. Once you have correctly set the height, you can now open the Magic Dronies menu. First feature we will try is Orbit. Please be careful with Orbit because the drone can span up to 60 meters away from you while flying around you. At the end of orbit, the drone will return to the same spot where it started and wait for further instructions. The next feature we will try is Parabola. Now if you have Parabola set on a POI which is a building, please ensure that your drone is higher than the building because the drone will fly over the point of interest that you set. Please note that Parabola will complete on the opposite end from where it started. You will need to pilot your drone back manually. The next feature we will try is Boomerang. They are 30 meters and 60 meters. Please ensure that there is nothing behind and above the drone as you use Boomerang. At the end of Boomerang, the drone will return to the same position where it started from. You can now pilot the drone to your next position. The next feature we will try is Tornado. Tornado flies the drone in an upward spiral, keeping the video locked on the point of interest which you have created. There are two options of 10 meters and 30 meters. Please ensure that there is nothing above the drone or in a radius of about 50 meters. When Tornado completes, it will be in the same position it started. You will need to pilot the drone manually. Back to you. Now this is an important reminder. Once you are finished using Magic Dronies, you need to stop the POI. And I will show you what happens if you don't stop POI. You can notice in the video that the drone is moving around erratically. And this is because I'm trying to pilot the drone, 
but it is still locked on the POI. So please don't think that your drone has a mind of its own or has a bad firmware or is malfunctioning. This is simply because it is in a mode where it is virtually tethered to a geographic point called a POI. So it is very important to remember to turn off POI when you are finished to fly the drone normally. Thank you all so much for watching. If this has helped you, give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down. I want you all to know that I had done this tutorial at minus 8 degrees Celsius and with wind gusts of up to 30 kilometers an hour. This is just to illustrate the consistency and the abilities of the Parrot Bebop 2 in these conditions. Until next time, fly safe and God bless.